I got involved because not enough people realize how important it is. And I would have loved to see someone like me up there when I was a young person, so that encouraged me to be that person for young people. So, I mean, let's talk about that. Special interest politics, identity politics. Let's elect this person so they'll be the first X. Makes absolutely no sense. Because, okay, would, would, would you go to a heart surgeon? Let's make this person a heart surgeon because they'll be the first X. That's not the person I want doing my surgery. You know, let's get on that plane because this person's the first X. It's not a plane I want to get on because it really should be about policy, it should be about experience, leadership, and skill. If I had a dollar for every time that I would hear things like, um, you know, gender politics don't matter or identity politics um, or, or why everything's broken, um, I, I would be able to fund every single one of my campaigns from now until, you know, I decided I no longer to be political. The simple root answer is everything is identity politics. Everything is identity politics. You cannot take identity out of politics. I either when I walk into the room, I either change the atmosphere in the room or the atmosphere in the room changes me. Uh, so in 200 years, that meant that blacks uh, having uh, had representation. For too often, and this has been a very um, big complaint from the communities of color, and I think uh, a very, um, a complaint that has merit, and that is that people who look like me are making the decisions for them, rather than them being able to make the decisions for themselves. And that has happened not only in Erie County, but across this nation forever. And I can't say what that community needs. That's why representation um, is, is, is critical. And it's, it's not a DEI, it's not an affirmative action, it's genuine, true, sustainable democracy.